Here's the W800 um, that's up for sale. The bike fell in the garage right here while we were moving the bike in between um, the other bike and the workbench and it fell right at the wooden workbench and dented up the cover right there. I have a new one coming in, silver and another sticker coming in so that can be replaced. Here is a rack that I added uh, a while back and then you can see it in the original picture but I want to explain what this is. This is a rack piece that goes into this right here like that. It, it would go in like this and you can pull on that string and it releases. So it's made for these holes so you can easily quick release it. Um, my plan was to build a wooden box to attach to this and make it kind of a like, wooden pannier on both sides. So this setup is already uh, part of the bike. As I mentioned, this cover looks decently good, but a new one is coming in. And that mirror, we replaced the stem adapter and then that's also been fixed. Um, the other caveats about this bike is um, the tail section has been replaced uh, by an aftermarket. So it's kind of tail delete and it has some LED lights and this is a programmable LED module. And it has some dip switches back here under the seat. You can adjust the strobing pattern of the tail light here. And the signal lights are here, the turn signal and the brake, extra brake lights right there. So I can show you that in a second. Let's take a walk around the bike. It has stock muffler. Everything else is stock except for the handlebar, which was changed to a Puig, um, kind of a standard bar, so we can sit up a little bit straight. Um, the mirrors come from Keywave mirrors, and it's a little bit long, so you can see behind you. And it has a wind deflector that's not factory, and it's been added on here, and you can always take it off. And it's an extra wind protection. When I ride, I feel so much better with that. Um, extra wind protection. So here's the front of the bike, spoke, original tires, um, original signal lights, and everything else is original. It's hard to see, my garage is pretty small. So get a good look. Let me put that plate on and show you what that looks like. So that plate puts on like this and it's very solid onto the brace and you can add a box and tie it into this plate right here. And that way it becomes your pannier or you can order the pannier that's already made. I think a small set runs about 300 bucks but um, and it's usually black and then to release you just pull Put on, there's a little latch right here. It's really cool. You just kind of slide on. Like that. And your pan mirror is on. Uh, pull the string or use the lever. Pan mirror is off. All right, we're gonna see about starting it. So it's a cold start. You can see me pipe, pipe, engine, header, exhaust header right there. Uh, it's cold, completely cold. I haven't started in weeks, I think. All right, so currently it has 2,180 2, miles. So clutch in.
think I can let the idle go down. It's a uh, running temperature. Move it to a different angle. I don't know if you see that. Give you a different angle of the bike. 